Hello friends, welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper. Gonna get right back on in, back to Default Village, where we are actually quite too overleveled for this area. So I'm thinking we're gonna set off on an adventure to new new places, new boundaries, new adventure. Like, the quests here, like level 1s, level 2s, I can't do this level 3. I'll come back here later, maybe it's a some kind of vital plot quest. But let's see, what level are my characters? Seven. What can I do here? Hmm. I might actually have to go out to the castle. Yeah, let's go to the castle. I still know this dice. It's probably just a random encounter, honestly. Wanna go to a tavern? What kind of stuff can we do? Can I click on this horse? No. Ooh. Oh, ooh, what's this? Leave characters at the tavern to open space at your table. Uh, no thank you, but I will click on this dwarf and this zombie. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's nothing I can do in the tavern at the moment. Blacksmiths, what does this do? Ooh! That's pretty cool! Um, why can't I make these? Upgrade blacksmith to... Oh, I see. So... Huh. That's really cool! Um, huh. wonder how this works. How do I level him up? You have two grind- Oh, that's what the grindstones are for. Okay, that, okay, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a system like that before. Uh, can I get any grindstones here? I really want to level that guy up. Uh, fish? He's not too expensive. I think three will level him up. Items and equipment, the best way to proceed in campaigns. One, two, three. There we go, so what kind of stuff can I make now? This is really cool. I'm loving this. Okay, so I know where all my gold's going. I was worried about where I was going to be spending this. But let's just take on some quests. Uh, castle guards, bandits, I think I am going to... Do I only have battle and rescue? Okay, so I've got Battle, Escort, Rescue, and Slay. I don't think I'm going to be doing this. I might do... Yeah, I'm going to do this real quick. It's going to be really easy, but... You know, it's the first quest. I don't want to get, like, insanely overleveled for it. Uh, this guy. Please, take me home. Sure, we can do that. We're close to Default Village. Escort this citizen to Default Village. Off we go, back to the village of noobishness. I'm going to call this the noob village eventually. Just because it's like, that place is really generic and a bit boring, honestly. Yeah, so it's just rats. This isn't going to be any problem. This one meteor, maybe a couple of smacks with a uh, leader strike should take out the rat. One fireball, take it out. And here we go. Now, was this a couple of waves or was this just one encounter? I don't actually remember. Yeah, it seems like it was just one encounter. Take care, citizen of Default Village. I still haven't got this guy's voice. I need to work on that. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be using that seashell because I don't know what resurrection costs mean yet. I'm going to go for another rank of devotion. I think I'm just going to go all pa for mostly passives this rank up. Let's see here. Um... Hmm. I'm going to go for another rank of Fireball, just because the extra damage now that enemies are starting to get up there in their uh, health. I'm also going to go for another rank of Circle of Healing. And I am going to have to get some more MP on this guy, the Rocker, Scotty there. Because he seems to be running out of mana from his heals far too quickly, and upgrading is only going to compound that problem. Now, I'm going to do a quest that actually seems diff like it could possibly be difficult. I think they might remember us from the tower prison. It looks like someone wants you very dead. Prepare yourself. Seven castle guards. That doesn't seem too bad. I'm going to go for two. Just get a feel for them. Oh man, like, where are my loaded dice? <laughs> I didn't even have to add the man in that time. It just came about naturally. So, um, hmm. I might be able to take out this castle guard. It depends on how much damage the fireball feels like doing. Not enough to kill him, apparently. 
bird, I think- Oh, they just put a weakening on him. I'm gonna put weakening on you two then. Just so you, either you can't do as much damage or we can kill you very quickly. Now the burn's gonna kill him before he can attack, so I'm just gonna go for regular attacks on them. Okay, it seems like weakening decreases your damage, so I'm gonna need to get some kind of debuff now that the enemies are using things like weakens. A strike? Yeah, only two damage when this was doing like, what, 12 before? I don't remember. But there we go, that wasn't too bad. Although I may have to rest between every two encounter. More seashells, once I get three I'll add on to it. Again, prepare yourself, I'm gonna go for three. Uh, I'll go for two actually. Challenge accepted! Let's see, lead a strike on the second initiative. Well, that doesn't make too much of a difference. I'm gonna go for the weaken, just to make sure I don't kick my ass. And I'm gonna go for fireball to try and burn him out next turn. They get their attacks, they don't do all that much because they've been weakened, and I'm going to go for a leader strike on first initiative. Oh, he's weakened. Ah, oh, that's a problem. Well, they've only weakened one of them, so it's not the worst thing in the world. It could be a far worse. They could have weakened my whole party. Sorry about that. Okay, so we should just be able to kill them outright with auto attacks. Well, not auto attacks, just regular attacks. Victory, we get some... Oh, I don't remember what the beak did. I'm going to go look right now. Let's see here. Inventory, the beak, plus one attack. Is that a consumable item? I don't actually know. I'm going to put it on this guy. Um, that's my resurrection cost. Uh, none of these seem particularly useful at the moment. I'll put them on anyway, just because I don't know what they do. But I'm not going to go for the XP ones, just because I want all my characters to have roughly the same level. And now it should just be uh, just trying to kill these three. Choose your destiny! And I'm going to have to heal them up like straight away, because I forgot to do any form of healing. Oh man, this could get dicey actually. I'm going to go for Holy Shield, just to keep him from, you know, dying. <laughs> Man, that's not healing as much as I thought it was, but he's taking a lot less damage now, so this shouldn't go too badly. Like, that's one down already. I might actually be completely out of mana here, which is a bit of a problem. Hmm. I might have to use an item. It shouldn't be too bad, like, there's no reason to not use an item, but I am going to set a weakening up on them. Just to kind of reduce the amount of risk of dying here. And now it's just auto attack to win because I don't think these guys can actually do enough damage to kill us. Unless they... Unless this wears off. I don't know if it does, but I'm going to use a... No, I don't actually have any MP restore items. I'll have to get some after this encounter. Although, how much does... Yeah, I'm going to use a green apple target here just to get my shield back next turn. Oh, jeez. Man, that's going to be a bit of a problem. If they get another hit on him, he's pretty much dead. Well, this fireball should take out this guy before he can use his next attack. You've got your holy shield, and I'm going to have to set up heal here. Oh, no, I picked the wrong one. Oh well, we should be pretty much we should have we should pretty much win here anyway. I think we might lose the paladin, but oh never mind. I've got a weakening. Yeah, we'll be fine. Don't worry. Now it's just regular attacks to victory because I have zero mana. Oh, the Holy Shield actually wore off. I think I might have to use a healing item on the Paladin, just because it's getting a bit low on health. How much does heal? Uh, it's not very good, but it's better than nothing. I'm hoping I'll be able to kill this guy. If I don't, that's going to be very embarrassing. I think I will. He's not going to... Nah, we've got him. Easy. There we go. Victory! I think this might be enough for a level up. I'm not sure. Oh, not quite there. So I'm just going to turn the quest in. Who cares, right? They're defeated anyway. Huh. <laughs> Maybe a rebellion. Who knows, right? I, I'm not entirely sure who's speaking that. I'm fairly certain it's the uh, dungeon master, but I can't be certain. Here we go. That's a proper rest. It doesn't seem as though there are any things we can click on here, though, so I'm going to actually go to the blacksmith. And uh, let's see here, what do I want? Ooh, that's really good, actually. I think I'm going to go for the meat hammer, though. Actually, what do my shields do? I didn't look last time. Uh, hmm. I'm actually more 
interested in the regen, so this might be better, but I think I'm going to go for the lifesteal, just because lifesteal is always awesome. Come on. Ah. Oh. oh, so it's got a chance. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so next time I'm going to go for just another general upgrade on whatever I feel like upgrading at the time. But for now, I'm going to go and go and try and kill some bandits. Oh, another female voice. Um. Oh dear. Uh. The bard is missing. Please, have any of you seen him? Who is the bard? Are you in love with him? Why don't you ask the king, man? He'll make everything easier. No, actually, yes. But we can't even be together. If the king knew anything about this, he'd kill us both. I bet the bandits have him. With him in their grasp, they would blackmail me. If he's not found in the next few days, all enchant prices will go higher. I would love that. Oh. So if I miss too many days, am I going to have to pay more for enchantments later on? Let's find out. Um, I'm going to go for just two. Just to kind of scope out how difficult they are. Let me try something new. Okay, so I should start burning them down as quick as possible. Get some dots on there. Dot? Yes, that's the right word. Hey, I know my terminology. It's only been like, what? 10 years since I started playing RPGs? No, longer than that. Like 13, 14 maybe. And I'm only just remembering what a dot is. As you can probably tell, I'm awesome at remembering things. This seems like it's going to be a fight that we're going to have to rest between for, like, every single time, because these guys actually have a lot of health, and they take quite a bit to burn down. Should be down this turn, though. There we go. So I'm just going to rest up and repeat the process. Now, before I do this, it's sleeping time. Oh, level ups. Awesome. Need more rest. Uh, let's see, what do I want? I'm, st I'm still not entirely sure on Flash here. It doesn't seem too useful, honestly. Huh, what can I get here? I'm thinking another rank of leader strike. I'm not having threat problems, but it seems to be that that's a good thing to go for. Now, I'm going to go for Deep Freeze, just for the stun, because these guys seem to start hit be uh, hitting hard. And I'm going to go for another wang. I'm not going to continue with that sentence, so let's go on with another <clears throat> battle here. Actually, did I get all of my MP back? Yes, I did. Do I get it all when I level up? I don't actually know. What kind of stuff can I do here? Castle Guard? Oh, can I add in Castle Guards too? Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so two more bandits. Are you kidding? I still don't have his voice. Damn it. Ah, well. It'll come over time. It'll, like, it'll come. Let's see how Deep Freeze works. Does it just stun this guy or does it stun all of them? It just stuns one, but at least that's one out of the way that's not going to be hitting us anymore. And I don't think the Weaken is going to be too useful, because one of them stunned, it's going to be a bit of a waste of mana. So I'm just going to keep throwing the fireballs out there. Oh, it only stuns for one turn. Oh, he doesn't get to attack. Okay. Hmm. That seems like it'd be most, mostly useful against elite mobs. But it doesn't seem like it's too useful against these little small guys. Burn damage should take down the fifth initiative guy, so there we go. We don't have to worry about him getting a second attack, and I'm going to go for a leader strike just to ensure that my mage and my uh, cleric, rather, don't get hit. And he should be down. Just three more bandits left to go. I might fight all three of them this this time round. Yahoo! XP man! Oh! Okay, um... Well, uh, let's see what kind of stuff we've got here then. Um... Do I just get this when I get to level 10 or something? Uh, it's very surprising. Why do I have to do this? Oh, did, it, did I click on the seat? Oh, I clicked on the seat by accident. Okay, I didn't actually know you could do that. Apologies for being completely oblivious to everything about this game, but we are going to keep going on with our quest, try and kill the next three bandits. Choose your destiny. I'm going to go for a leader strike straight off the bat, follow it up with a holy shield next turn, and use a weakening as soon as I can. Just to ensure that these guys cannot do any more than a small amount of damage. Hmm. 26 to 32, or... Actually, no, if I do that, it's just going to use the meteor. Okay, I'm going to go for the third initiative, just to make sure I can get as much damage in as possible before we have to... 
might deal with more damage incoming. At this point we can stop attacking third initiative, the burn's probably going to kill him next turn, I think. And we can start attacking second initiative. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go, we got him before he could attack us. We can take this guy down. Let's see. I think that'll kill him, so we don't have to worry about throwing another fireball on him. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, just off. Oh well, we can kill him with this. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go for a circle of healing, just for a bit of extra health. Just in case. There we go, it should just be a comp- Oh, just one auto attack, actually. And they're down. Two and a half thousand experience. That's- I think that's the most I've seen so far, actually. Oh god, I, I still don't know this voice. You! Tell us what you did to the princess's bard! Uh, that's- nah, not really. What? I don't know what you're talking about. You could have just left. That princess is so annoying. Interesting. Would you have any leads for us then? There was a wagon that left yesterday by night. I heard someone saying that there would be a, that they would head to the beach later and onto the Flying Dutchman ship. I just don't have any idea what they were going to do there. I bet the Crocs know something. Okay, man, we'll head that way. Thanks for the info. Next time, would you just ask instead of bashing us in the head? You should take a look at the Flying Dutchman ship. Travel to the quest. Travel to the Flying Dutchman ship and continue quest. Now, I would do this, but I don't actually... I, I, I forgot to set my timer again, so... I'm just going to end off here. Hope it's around 15 minutes. And I will see you guys... Oh, no. I'm not going to see you guys next time. I have to thank you first. Thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Knights of Pen and Paper. I've been Azeroth and guiding you through the world of Knights of Pen and Paper, unfurling a map across the world that we shall be exploring next time.